25 on Monday, October the 24th. And oh, special guest for you today. Jared Spector, ladies and gentlemen. We love Jared oh, Spector. He's just beautiful. He is. Uh, so let's get started with the news because actually you don't want me, you want Jared. Um, prices are up today. Have a little look at this story when, when we're done with Live at Five. Ryan Murphy was talking about um, the Great Comet. Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet. Did over a million dollars in its first week the of previews. The power of Josh Groban. 115% of its potential. Wow. So, well done, Josh Groban. Um, yeah. yeah. That's exciting. So, we're going to be keeping an eye on that a show. A lot of Tolstoy fans out there, huh? Mm. <laughs> that must be it. That must be it. Okay, uh, Colour Purple Casting. Uh, Nathaniel Stampley will replace Isaiah Johnson um, as, Mr. as Mr. And Nathaniel was in the original production. He understudied Harpo. So nice sort of link there. That's yeah. from November the 15th. Okay, so news from London this morning, the Evening Standard Awards, which are very prestigious awards, um, their shortlist came out. Right. Andy Carl and Glenn Close are going to, to be... Broadway bound. Well, we don't know about Glenn. We hope Broadway bound. But Andy mm -hmm. most definitely is Broadway bound. Yeah. Um, they're up against each other for best musical performance alongside Sheridan. Sheridan Smith, who is in Funny Girl. So we'll see what happens That's there. Quite a lineup. Of course, Harry Potter, first child. I mean, of course. Best play nomination there. That's not a um, shock. Now here's the thing about London Awards, though. What tends to happen is that sometimes that the most commercial shows don't That's win. That's true. That's true. Um, the the London critics and voters sometimes go off off off. They like, be, they like to be surprising. Um, however, Harry Potter's had such incredible reviews. I think yeah. we'll see. I think it's going to be very trippy. I've got my tickets. Very excited to go <laughs> next month. Okay, lots of casting going on with the off-Broadway revival of Sweeney Todd, the Demon. The Robert one in the pie shop. shop. Yeah. So a whole load of Brits are coming over from London to reprise their performances. Jeremy Seacombe, Siobhan McCarthy, Duncan Smith, and Joseph Taylor. But then we've got some New York names joining yes, us as we well do. at Barrow Street Theatre. Matt Doyle. Alex Fink, Betsy Morgan, and Brad Oscar. And Matt Doyle. Yeah. Performances will begin on February the 14th. That's next so year. exciting. It's I mean, such it's, a good Valentine's show. Yeah, Sweeney yeah, Todd. it does speak to me as a Valentine's Day. The so ultimate romantic. Valentine's Day. I mean, so romantic. <laughs> so romantic. Don't listen to anything we're saying we're having on Monday. Um, okay, now, uh, the Squigs Broadway Inc. for the front page was up today. You may go, oh, that's a bit late. Um, that's because the press weren't invited. It was before. just a little bit hard to get a ticket. It's yeah. a hot ticket. It's a exactly. gorgeous, gorgeous illustration. And I. Ethan Lane at the yeah, center. And I very much enjoyed the front page. I was lucky enough to we go over the weekend. We are fans. We both enjoyed it, and we really agree, actually. You always say that when we agree, and we always agree. Well, not all the time. However, I had a delightful evening at the front page, and if you are lucky enough to get a ticket, I think you will, too. I think they just found their pool club. A all delightful right. evening. Um, looks Not Books, episode 22 is up. Are we still counting? Well, um, Leslie did today. I think she said 22. <laughs> anyway, um, the kids are, kids are in it, and there's this hysterical thing with a garbage man. You, you have to... I think you have to see it to understand. See it. To believe it, um, but she's fabulous. Lesson we love Margarita. Lesson Margarita. Um, are the MySpace is up, I think. Holiday Megan Sakura from Holiday Inn shows us her dressing room. Mm -hmm. She has a reminder. I'm going to let it be a secret. She has a reminder on her mirror of something she needs to always do. Okay. I'm going to leave it at um, that. Hot Shots, they're going to be up soon. Yes, we've got a lot going on. A and lot going Bronx on. Hill. And Bronx Hill. All right, I'm leaving now because we've got incredible pool in room here. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Jared Spector! Oh my god. Now, the response is overwhelming. It's a, it's a, it's a standing up. Although I'm sitting down, it's still a standing ovation. Hello! Hi. I love him. Hello. I love him. I'm not kidding. Sometimes I love people and sometimes I adore them. This is the true thing. You're so sweet. Okay, why are you here? What's up? Just came um, by and say hi. Yeah, just figured I would yeah. just. I was in the neighborhood yeah. in Times Square, you know. Oh, so were you practicing for your show at 54 Below? I was. Yay. Actually, I was doing um, one of my. I, I put on one of the costumes in the. I was taking pictures of people in, in Times Square because that's normally what I do on mm -hmm. Monday afternoons. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're uh, not, you know, in a show and you're an okay, actor. Okay, okay, right, right, Yes, no, I'm doing it. All right, it, listen, yeah. so you're doing a show. It's called? It's called Jukebox Life. And who named it that? It's an interesting story. I'm glad you asked. Uh, no, I, a woman came up to me at the end of my run at Beautiful. Uh, the so Carole it was like King Musical. Beautiful, the Carole King Musical. It was one of my last shows playing Barry Mann. And uh, she, was, she was wonderful. And she was out there and she wanted selfies and autographs and all that. And mm -hmm. she was like, oh, my God. I saw you in Jersey Boys like eight times. Because you were in it you. forever. I was in it for, I was in Jersey Boys for six years. I couldn't, couldn't miss you in this. And, and I, oh, Carole King and Frankie Valli, like my favorite music of all time. What's it like to have this incredible jukebox life? I hope she is. <laughs> 
I don't even know her name, but she's, but she's that's left she a deep like. imprint on my life. <laughs> and at the end, she said, what's it like to have this incredible jukebox life? Oh, it uh, came from an actual oh, person. Yeah, it came from a real human. Listen, you can affect so Broadway stars just by talking to them. I chose the name. I didn't actually come up with the name. If you know That's what I mean. really yeah. nice. So I thought, wow, yeah. Jukebox, jukebox life. life. Yeah. And this traces the uh, the roots of Jared Spector? Yeah, yeah. And it's the first time that I've sort of embraced the uh, horrible childhood videos. Well, some of them are, are wonderful. Most of them are wonderful. Watch the, the show, Childhood videos. The childhood videos that I have uh, that are floating around you online. You were a star. I was on Star Search with Ed McMahon when I was six years old, and I was on uh, lots of TV shows uh, and, in Philadelphia, a local variety show called Al Alberts for like three years before that. So there's lots of archival footage. And, uh, and I have all these weird connections with like Does my that older life. Did it for you like, before you started to embrace it? It did. It's just a little, it's a little odd. It's hard to watch yourself yeah. in general. Yeah, and I'm super critical of like, oh my God, my pitch. Or, oh my God, I look like such an idiot. Why do you make that face? Aww, you know what I mean? But, but I was six. I shouldn't child. judge. No, I know. I try not to. My <laughs> wife constantly it. tells me not to, but I, I, it's hard. Um, anyway, I have all these weird connections with it. It's like, my very first song, in Jersey Boys, for those of you who've seen the show, is there anyone out there who's seen the show? The first song Frankie sings is, I can't do anything but love. And then he says the line, yeah, it's the first song I ever knew the words to. Well, I can't give you anything but love is the first song I ever knew the words to. I ever knew the words to. What? And it was the first, I didn't know this. Yeah, I know. It's strange. You probably I, already knew this. I didn't know and this. I, yeah, it was the first song I sang on Star Search when I was six. And, you know, so I, I, we do some back and forth with that and the videos and the songs and Lots of little weird stuff like that throughout my That's life. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And then I so insert So you're going to go through and process. sort of tell your story through songs, through songs yeah. people know. Yeah, yeah. And definitely give some, you know, some insight into what, what it was like playing Frankie and, and being beautiful and, and meeting my wife, Kelly Barrett. Um, you know, I was obsessed with, I was obsessed with the last five years when I met her. And, um, and she's a chick's goddess. And she is a chick's goddess. So I mean, it would make really sense to sing that song about meeting her, wouldn't it? So, you know, there might be things like that in there too. Are you going to go see Frankie on Broadway? Uh, yeah. Why not? I will. I mean, I haven't gotten my personal invite yet, but I'm sure. He's, he's, I'm sure check it's your coming. texts. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I will. Well, that's a great story. Mm. Now, as you're going through and being a little bit autobiographical, do yeah. you sort of call your parents and ask them anything? Oh, my parents have been intimately involved in, I love in, the, in the providing your mom, by the of way. the videos. <laughs> oh, yeah, my dad can't wait to show me. Like, I got home, I was like, listen, I need some of these videos, these are the songs that I need because I think these are the ones that make sense to sing in the show. Mm -hmm. And he had just every VHS tape from oh, 1980, yes, from my childhood, the year that I won't say, all the way up, you know, all the way up until now. And, uh, and yeah, we got, we got that quite a quite video. quite a library. Yeah, it's, it's, it's deep, man. It's really deep. There's like videos, some of it's DVD and some of it's still VHS, some of it's like Betamax. You're going to have to leave that to, like, a university or something someday. Yeah. <laughs> to some presidential library somewhere. Right, just in case I don't have the kids. The Carol King there. president. I assume she'll be president eventually. She should be. I mean, she's coming. She go. should be next. Yeah. I feel like. I'm with yeah. her. I'm totally <laughs> with her. It's a different kind of with her, but We yeah. have questions from your many fans. Oh, please. First of all, away. I just want to say to Karen, Philly in the house. That's what she said, Philly in Philly the house. Philly in the house. You want to do a Philly accent for me? Do you know I don't know how to do that? Anymore? Because you were a child star. I, I no, but I do things. Um, um, I'll, I'll think of things, words that I said as a kid. I, my I best friend myself. is from Philly, and she says hordes and hordes of people at the door. Yeah, water. Water. Yeah. Depends. We'll we'll let that go. Yeah. Um, what style of music? This is from Scott. What style of music do you personally prefer? What's your jam? That's a hard thing. I mean, I love like all right. If I'm singing it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, you know it's tough. I really like everything. I I, I have a, I have a real affinity for for rock for rock music, um, but I also love R and B. So I'd say those those are my two. And I, I know of course I I mean there are so much legit musical theater that I love and pop and all that stuff. But you know some combination of rock and R and B is my uh, that covers is a lot. Go -to. I know a lot. it's not it's not a good answer, but I really I just enjoy so many different varieties of music, listening and singing. David asks, who are your this is kind of similar. Who are your musical inspirations? Uh, Freddie Mercury is my favorite singer of all time, wow. bar none, without question. And uh, and I grew up listening, of course, to like Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. And because I grew up playing the piano, I played a lot of Billy Joel and Elton John. Mm -hmm. uh, Stevie Wonder is also is like number two of my favorite singers of all time. So that's I want to see your ranking. I want to see the top one hundred Jared Spector. Top one hundred. Oh, goodness. I mean, like when I feel like you know Freddie's number <laughs> right, 20, one, 20. Stevie's number two, and then I could probably keep going from there. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Billy asks, would you like to return to Broadway to star in an original musical? An original musical, is in not one that is a jukebox musical, is that the question? Just take a left and start. Yes. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, of course. I would love... I mean, honestly, I sort of accepted the fact that I'm a little bit a jukebox guy, jukebox, yeah. and that's what I've that's done so life. far, and that's why, I, hence the title of the show. But yes, of course, uh, any material that's worthwhile doing and, and inspiring is something I would love to do, whether it's original or... turn down a great part, no matter no, what No, no matter what it is. You know, a great part, great story. This is... All right. First of all, David says, any chance of doing a Freddie Mercury bio musical? Oh, God, wouldn't that I be mean, the coolest? I mean, I could see it. I would love, I mean, I would kill to do that. Uh, I, I wish, I mean, they... really tight jeans. They did, yeah, I can find, I can find some. I can find some. We do live near, close enough to the East Village, I feel like I can get some tight jeans. But they, um, I feel like, they, you know, they did We Will Rock You, right? Which, was, which isn't a bio musical but not so here. much. But not here, yeah. Um, I wish, I hope that they do. I mean, his is certainly a story worth telling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really interesting life. Yeah. Um, this is a question I bet that you weren't expecting. Uh -oh. Julianne asks, what do you like to eat in between shows on a two-show day? Oh, that's How do you a keep great, up your energy? I mean, you That's a great so question. Much. No, I know, because some people, I know some people who can eat, can eat like a really big heavy meal, which I definitely can't do, mm -hmm. and other people are like, I really can't eat between, in which case I would just die. So I, I always, um, I sort of lean towards toward Japanese Mm, um, a little sushi. In, in between, yeah, sushi. There's a there was a spot. No dairy in Japanese food. So. Nah, yeah, and I actually kind of think that's. I mean, not not guzzling a gallon of milk before going on stage, but I don't think that like a little <laughs> bit of cheese is gonna really affect anybody's very voice. Very all the a little bit of moderation, <laughs> as long as you balance it with you know some lemon. Some lemon, some lemon. Uh, I also saw. Okay, Alec wants to know if you saw Mark Ballas as Frankie yet. I have not seen Mark. Well, it's Ballas. only been on for a couple he's of only, days. Yeah, he's only been. It's just happened. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen it yet. Have you gone back to see Jersey Boys at all since you left? I have not. How do you I have feel not about gone back. I mean, it's really sad. It is. There are a couple of people who have been in it the whole time. I know. I know. Oh, and oh that's my really goodness. Special. Sarah Schmidt and, and Peter Gregis and Marco Tito. I mean, these people have been there the whole time. They are stalwarts. It's, yeah. incre it's incredible. I have just the Holding utmost down the respect port. for them still doing it. They are wonderful people. They are wonderful performers. And it's sad. It's really sad. It's, the end. it's truly the end of an it's era. It's been a huge part of your life. Oh my God! Yeah, I mean, I've I've been in, I've been employed in Jersey Boys for like one out of every seven days of my life, six days of my life. So yeah, he did the it's math. Been, he did the math. I just did it just now. <laughs> he did the math very not very before. Quickly. Very quickly. Wait, we have so many questions. Uh -oh. oh, are you and Kelly? This is from Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Are you and Kelly Barrett, your wife, doing any more shows in the future? We are. We're going to. Yeah, I mean, we actually just did a concert. Uh, at, at Stoller Center at Stony Brook University on Saturday night. And, uh, yeah, we have another brand new show planned for the spring, which is supposed to also premiere at 54 Below. Do you have a sneak below. peek of what it might I, contain? If we'd written it yet. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, I, no we, have, we have lots have of ideas, like a, but nothing. Do you have, like, a few songs you definitely want to do together that you haven't done yet? Yeah. Oh, goodness, Kelly, can I tell people this? No, we have this really fun mashup <laughs> idea. You know what? I can't say it. I'm sorry. I know that's mashup. such a tease, but mashup, she's going to... Kelly, yeah. Jared... Sign me up. Doesn't yeah. matter what you're mashing up. Something cool. Some, yeah, it's really cool, and uh, and we and we definitely speak. we want to do it, and we've been talking about it. Nancy, everyone wants to know about Jersey Boys. And I yeah, apologize about bring that. it on, please. Will you be in the that Nancy asks, will you be in the audience at the final show of Jersey Boys? Are you going to go back and see it before it closes? I'm going to. I'm definitely going to see it before it closes. I don't know if I'll be in the in the you know the for, very the, for, final, the, for the yeah. final. I mean, I guess if it's like you know, I was there for the ten year anniversary. It wasn't actually in the theater because I had. A show that night because I was in Beautiful at the same time. But you went so to the I, party. We saw you. Yeah, I ran after exactly. There was a lot of Frankies running around that party. A lot, <laughs> yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of people my height. A lot, a lot of like five really? nine and under, dark haired, dark eyed, past for Italian, high falsetto singers, all running around like mad. It uh, was awesome. Yeah, it was great. It was, it was like looking in many <laughs> mirrors. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll be there at, on the last night, but if you know, but if that's it's an event, I would love to. I would love to be a part of it. Can't leave you off that list. Yeah, Peyton wants to know your favorite Carol King song. Oh my God. Oh. Man. That's Man, a hard that's, one. That is a hard one. Although in Beautiful, you were mostly singing. Mostly the, singing um, the Man Wild. Songs. Yeah, the Man Wild songbook. Um, I think Up on the Roof that's is a good my one. is my favorite. Yeah, I mean there are. The thing about her music is not only the melodies but the lyrics. And when you strip away all of the affectation, like if you listen to Will You Love Me Tomorrow with just a piano and a voice, totally it's works. It's just that the the lyrics are mm -hmm. so incredible. She's she was just magic. Did you and go back and see Beautiful after you left? No. I have not yet done it. It's hard to I have revisit. Not, it is. It's hard. It's and, and I'm I'm not like a. I just it's just a. It's a. It's weird hard to revisit thing. the tapes in your parents' basement. It certainly is hard to do it's that. It's hard to it's revisit hard to a show after you left. I think it would be easier to watch the the show because it's not you know like it's a seven year old of me singing off key or. Okay, you know, show. Tell me about the most embarrassing tape. 
Let's just okay, go to the heart so, of the matter. All right. So I, <laughs> so when I was three years old, three. I learned to sing. My mother learned, figured out, she took me everywhere. So she Most figured out. Most kids are being out, potty trained. But go on. Right. No, I think I was, I, I sang on the toilet too. So as a, as a three-year-old. So Thanks for she sure. used to, you're welcome. <laughs> so she used to, she figured out that I was learning radio commercials and memorizing them and singing them. And so she taught me the song Side by Side. Um, to sing with her as a duet. So, l- long story is, we, we ended up auditioning. For, I ended up sending in a tape, my parents did, since I was three and I didn't know how to do anything, but they sent in a tape of me auditioning for this Al Alberts showcase, which is like a local variety show in Philadelphia. And the tape of the audition is like 17 minutes long, but they only used the very end of it, but mm-hmm. we watched all of them, my wife and I, and we just watched just every single, it's like eight, nine, ten songs in a row, and I was three years old. And, and you could and sit still for 17 minutes, so, that's oh, amazing. But that's the thing though, I couldn't really sit still, like my mic, I was I hold the mic like out here most of the time, <laughs> and I'm really into it, and then I remember, and then you could see me look at my dad, who says, oh right, here, <laughs> and like on to tootsie goodbye, you know, and I do all these different hand motions for goodbye. And in between every song, I look to him and I say, side by side? As in, will side by side be the next song that I'll sing? But it's never the next song. <laughs> There's always a new song playing and then it's all, it's, you know, it's, it's give my regards to Broadway and all these songs. I need you to put that on YouTube. Okay. I, I've, some of it I've, I've uploaded a little bit okay. um, and I, I will continue I to do full. more. But if you come to the show, you'll I see all of it. I will come to the show. Yeah. All right, we're going to ask two more questions. We're going to let you go. We're going to ask three more questions. Ask away. Wendy wants to know, since her favorite... She wants to know what your favorite Stevie Wonder song is. Ooh. You mentioned Stevie Wonder. Um, it's really hard. All right. Um, my favorite Stevie Wonder ballad is Lately. Mm-hmm. And um, my favorite up tempo is Sir Duke. I know those are trite, not trite. I mean, the thing is, though, you can't name a Stevie song that isn't a hit. I feel like That's every true. single song is played Album because they're like hits. the greatest songs of all time. But if I like off the top of my head, those two. Um, David wants to know if you remember meeting Ed McMahon. I have a vague recollection of meeting. You have to remember that. I mean, I was six little. years old. Do you, what do you remember when you? So came? right. Yeah. So that was so that was a little while ago. Not that long ago, but it was a while ago, and I was young. Um, I do have some recollection of meeting him. Uh, he called me Gerard on national television because of <laughs> the spelling of my name, which, as you can imagine, in first grade was so easy to live down. <laughs> and uh, he eventually did get it, which was weird because you know because he read off a teleprompter. Right. In real life, he knew my name because we had met. But then on stage, he just read the teleprompter, and uh, yeah. Oh, so I do remember that about Ed. Gerard, Gerard. Um, and the last question is from Peyton. What is the best advice you've ever been given? That's a tough question. Oh hold no! Hold the mic in front of your mouth. Right. Hold the mic. Yeah. Definitely breathe from your stomach. Uh, the best advice I've ever been given was by my father, who said. Um, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Oh, I try to remember that all the time, especially in moments when you're like, oh my God, I'm not working, or God, this is so hard, or whatever it is, and like, life is wonderful. I sing and dance for a living. I don't really dance, but I sing and act for a living, <laughs> and I move. He moves, and Sometimes he moves so well. Sometimes when I'm told to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> go see Gerard Spector. <laughs> and what, what are the dates? The dates are November 1st, 2nd. 4th and 5th, which is next Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, all at 7 p.m. at 54 Below, and then also Sunday, November 13th at 9.30 p.m. So if you're like a Broadway person and you get out of your show, you can come over. Just go to Broadway.com, type it in, all that will Everything come up. So that's hard up. to remember. Yeah, it's a lot. Jukebox Life. Jukebox Life. The fabulous Jared. Jared. <laughs> He's so beautiful. Jared Spector. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.